Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to do an unboxing video and one I'm super excited about because this is the new World Spanner Factions by Brett Morell. This is bundles one through three. It's also going to contain the promos uh, for A and B. Um, of course, it is in English. Now, so this is, if you get uh, bundles one through three and the promos, it's all going to come in one big giant box. Uh, this thing is huge. So inside of here, you're going to have all three of your other boxes uh, plus um, your promo cards. So let's open this thing up. Uh, things are going to move off camera just for a little bit. And let's see what this is going to look like. All right, so step number one. Let's try not to butcher myself. I don't really want to cut my fingers, but... I, I'll tell you what, man, I am so super excited about this game. I, I have played all of Duel of Ages 1, I've played Duel of Ages 2, and it's my all-time favorite game. So I've been waiting for this, and I haven't played this since um, early, early stages of beta. So it looks like we got promo A and promo B. Um, so this looks like it'll be some cards. We'll just open that up here in a little bit. Um, looks like we're going to have all of our sets, our heroes, our foes and our expanses. Let's get these out of this box and let's take a look at these and see what we have. All right, okay. Nice thing, these are packaged so incredibly well. All right, let's see. All right, there's box number three. We'll get into that one in a second. Here's box number two and the artwork, I have got to say, is absolutely gorgeous. Um, every time Brett puts out a new game, his artwork just gets better. And there you go. World Spanner Factions, set one, heroes. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh my gosh. I mean, this thing, this, this is so beautiful compared to the Duel of Ages 2 sets that I've been looking at. Um, really, really nice. Of course, the game pretty much stayed the same. Two to eight players, 14 plus, and anywhere from two to four hours based on, um, however you length you want to play. Um, I know they've done some good changes. They got rid of the just dedicated time on it. Okay, let's open this thing up. All right, let's get some shrink wrap off of this guy. All right, so looking at this, and this is definitely, let's see, we got definitely award-winning game. This saying has won so many awards. Um, sets one and two are going to deliver a unique team versus team experience, and set three is going to add your solo co-op and your campaign mode. That's what I'm super excited about. I really want to play this game, uh, see how it plays solo and see how it plays campaign. But let's get this thing opened up and let's see what it looks like. All right, oh, this thing has been sitting in my house for a few days. I've been staring at it and I cannot wait for this. All right, so rule book. This is gonna be the rule book for sets one and two. Okay, oh, let's see. Looks like so on our component list, we're going to have our map pieces that we're going to have. So we're going to figure out, we got some, our venture keys, uh, definitely got a setup for it. I know they changed setup a little bit on this. Um, that's going to give you a really good idea right there on what the setup's going to look like, how it's going to look on the table. Looks like we got a, a one, two, three, potentially a four player game there, or it's two player game or two versus one or, but we got, looks good. We got our keys. Now, one of the things <clears throat> that I know in talking to Brett about this rule book is word count. One of the things Brett was really, really meticulous about was he wanted the word count to be really, really low on this, but yet still be able to get all of the rules out and have them understand. Um, he didn't want a book that was super heavy in, in rules. Um, he wanted to get get wanted the game to get to the table a little bit easier than what it used to, um, and I do believe from what I've played and what I've read, he has succeeded in that. Um, hope the video quality is coming okay. This is actually the first time I've ever done this, so this is new for me. Uh, I got some combat. We got some ranged, some line of sight examples. Um, I know they changed some line of sight rules, I believe. Ranged attack examples, man. This book, this rule book just looks gorgeous. And let's see, so it's 24 page, and this is one of the really nice things, is the very back of this rule book is gonna give you a lot of a lot of stuff. It's a list layer, you got your desk edge. You're gonna be able to see how how some of the keys, keys are gonna work on that. Sorry, I didn't mean to get that out. Um, and you do have an index off the side, right on the back page. You don't even need to open, open the rule book and you can see what that index is gonna look like. 
Very nice, very excited about that. All right, and this is gonna be, it looks like our Underworld board. Um, and so I know one of the things with this game is the number of rounds that you play opposed to it used to be a time limit. So you, a long game is gonna be 12 rounds. I think an average game is nine. I think you can play as low as six for a beginning game. I don't remember, he changed that a little bit. So I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. All right, so look at the packing. Okay, so the package of this game, you can just see everything is set in this box. Really tight, really good. I'm excited to see that. Um, so we got our standee tokens. These ones are super high quality. I've actually been buying these for other games of mine. This exact same one because I really like these. They don't damage any of the uh, the cardboard that you put in them. They're just they're really soft, really flexible, really really nice. Let's see set one. We'll open these a little bit and we'll kind of go through some of those. We got some more cards. Uh, definitely we got the sky high. Okay, and oh, it looks like a couple packs of our character cards. Open those in a second as well. Looks like he even gives you, if you need them, a couple, uh, some uh, bags. Always good to have little Ziploc bags. Okay, so underneath this one. All right, so now we're going to have all of our cardboard. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so it looks like we got... We got some some different keys, some tokens. Um, these are going to be for your adventures. Look, there's list tribute. Oh, look at that, man! See how look how easy those pop out. Ah, nothing worse than buying a game and having the components pop out and tear. But those can those come out. It's perfect, perfect. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. So I can grab some more counter tokens. Um, really, really nice looking. Okay, I'm just gonna set these off to the side. Got some more tokens right there. Looks like we got some gold. A lot more for the, of your standees. Oop, sorry about that glare. A little more. Aha, look at that dog. I like it. Oh man, see these tokens are falling out of these punch boards. Just handling them. I can't even handle these things without them falling out. Looks like we got the great tree here. I'm gonna punch this one out. Oh, let's get rid of that. Let's just look at one of these keys because that's one of the things that I know that's definitely different with this one is the way the keys go together and the way these, the platters are. The platters are definitely, definitely different looking if you're used to the original one, but just look at the amazing art. Okay. Now, one of the things they did on these that's really, really cool is you're going to see, I mean, this is a really nice vibrant color, but they also kind of have a muted side. The muted side is going to actually make it a little easier to tell what sections are what. So you got your trees, um, your buildings, um, if anything's blocked, you can see things a little bit better. Um, so it's it's all personal preference on which side you want to play. It's 100% up to you. Um, that's that's one of the cool things I like that he did. He kind of you know, took a little information from some of the people and what they what they wanted. But yeah, see, I mean, look at the difference. Look how much you can see there compared to how much you can see there. I mean, that's, and, and I'll tell you what, if you take all these platters and everything else and you put them all together the way they're supposed to be, it is one big giant pitcher. That is the cool thing about this game. All right, some more tokens. Okay, look at that. Pieces are just falling out. Okay, another, another one right there. I hope my camera, I'm just trying to do this really fast. Just using my iPad for this, so hope you guys are seeing this okay. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to give everybody... I know there's a lot of people that have kind of really been wanting to know what this game looks like. So, just trying to give everybody an idea what these final components look like. Oh, man. Tell you what, I am... I can't be any more excited to get this game to the table. Just, I mean, these are just phenomenal. I mean, look at this. Look at that smuggler's den right there. That is that is just incredible. And if you have all your different areas you can go, you can quest. Okay, I just all the different key, you know key locations you can go to to try to win these tiles. You can see the heavy, heavy dark areas. In case so those are walls and borders, you can see you know which factions have negatives going in here. Which factions is the primary faction? They're going to get your bonuses. Um, really, really cool stuff. Uh, looks like we got some more keys. Got some more uh, counters. Okay, again, the muted side. All right, I've got a couple more of these. All right, the horse lands. Nice. 
nice. These are just, oh, man. You know, I've been seeing pictures of this artwork even before he started this campaign. And man, I've been excited about this for so long. The Elemental Temple. Wow. Oh, man. Okay. That all looks really good. Okay, looks like I got another token that kind of fell out. All right, so what I want to... Now, let's, let's uh, take a look at some of these cards. Okay. Trying to uh, keep this tour. It doesn't get too messed up because I gotta, I'm going to try to go through all of these. But then I need to keep it all organized because hopefully in the next week I will have a foam core insert built for this because I really want to get that done. All right, so just to give you an idea, these are... These are all the new characters. I mean, you're gonna if you've played Duel of Ages two, and Duel of Ages, you're gonna recognize recognize rec recognize a lot of these characters. Um, but the nice thing is, I mean, they got rid of all the ages, so you're not gonna see the ages anymore. You're now gonna notice they're all factions, so you can kind of see how they're all associated to different factions, and the factions is gonna be based on that's. Good. I mean, they're gonna want to try to adventure where their home faction is. They're gonna get bonuses. If it's not your home and you got a negative in there, you might want to try to keep them out. Um, but that's that's the biggest reason why this game has gone from, you know, the ages to the factions is just for that reason right there. Um, I actually personally like the factions. I, I like the change that they did for them. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt, William Wallace. Oh, man, some of these. Oops, I'm out of, out of the camera a little bit. I'm trying to keep the angle just right so you can kind of get an idea on, on what some of these cards look like. And this is just set one. So if you only got set one, this is all you're going to get. Um, set two is going to add a whole bunch more stuff. Now, this is cool, too, because we got one, two, three, four. You got six different um, cards that you're going to be able to use. And these are basically uh, just your quick player aid cards. Um, uh, oh, that's the seventh card. So you're going to have your different movement in your area, your adjacency, your auras, your boost, what all that's going to do. But then you're also going to have... You're going to see what all your factions are. And the nice thing is, is you can, you know, if you really need to, especially if you're a new player, you can line it up and you can see speed, aim. You can tell what's what. It's really, really nice. Um, love. Absolutely love these cards. I know this is one of the things that I talked to Brett about. Um, and it looks like he's got one of those for up to six different people. Oh, you can't have enough of those. Man, just top notch. That is absolutely perfect what you want. Well, it's fan. Oh. Oh, and it looks like these are going to be dropkick. These are going to be cards, I think. Man, you know what? I haven't played any of the solo stuff or the campaign stuff, and I do believe that's what some of this is for. So this is all, this is going to be new to me. I kind of played a little bit of it when he first started on it, but it's been a while since then. Okay, so let's put this away. And I'm going to put these off to the side. Okay, so this is my set one. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of these. And look at these packs, man. They just open up so nice, you don't have to get a blade out. All right, so these should be your challenge deck. So this is going to be your Skyhawks challenge deck. And this is going to be your Cyclones challenge deck. Okay, so both of these decks should be identical. The only difference is the back, so we just have to look at one. But I really like how he's modified these. Of course, you got your you got your luck number, where you're going to go to, what key um, you're going to be dismissed to or potentially banned to. I like how he's color coded the sides. You can easily see now if it's a hit or a miss. Oh man, the damage, you know, if there's a negative on your damage, you know, if you're a maze or your flop, um, I really, I really like the way they colored these out. Um, yeah, I mean, you can just see, look at that. I mean, that card to that card, it's, it's so quick to look at these now. Um, really, really nice. Um, now the nice thing is, this deck and, and the Skyhawks deck. And these are just um, partial size decks. If I remember right, I think I believe set two actually is going to have more cards for each one of those decks. Um, so they're actually going to get bigger. Um, so that's one of the advantages. All right, and then we'll have this deck. Uh, what do we got? I don't even, and honestly, I don't even remember what the, what some of the, what sections, what the, some of these are. Uh, the Victory Cube, the Luger. For the, your damage, your two hit, it's power rating, it's range. Looks like it's a, the hand, what it is. Oh. And Leonardo's Journal, the artwork, Dem Demolition Act, Axe. Oh, yeah, man, everybody wants a Max Runner, right? No. I like the jet ski myself. Okay. 
It's somewhere. All right, let's take this one as well. What do we got here? Okay, I think that. It's going to go with those if we look at the back. Okay. Okay, so let's... Here's just a few more of these ones. Caltrops. Dwarven Industrial. Man, I keep moving too much. I think I'm getting out of the video picture. Oh, I'm sorry. I should practice this a little bit more often. Oh, there we go. Crack bone. Don't mess with crack bone, man. Or the bone scraper. The dread mount. Ah. Oh, the Samaritan chair. Oh. Oh, oh. Man, I just want to put this game on the table right now. That's all I want to do. All right, so let's see what else kind of equipment we have. Well, let's see, there's Cypress, Pure Hat, Spellbound Cube, the Paralyzer, Velociraptor. I mean, oh, it's just this game's got everything in it. And what's so cool is you never know what you're going to have. I mean, dual AKs, phew, yeah. Give those to like a Martian or Annie Oakley or something like that. Just have all kinds of fun with the Fairy Mask of Feathers. Oh, okay. Let's see, and what's this? We got a Night Shield. And I'm, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast for all this. Uh, there's so much here. I don't really want to spoil anything. I just want to give you an idea of what this game has. Um, Karika Knife. The, uh, Boy Knife. Some Morning Star. Gnome Spike. I really hope these are in. This is all in. Focus. Leather Armor. Oh, man. Throwing Knife. Some Dynamite. Yeah, I've had that used against me. The gyro needer, I've definitely had that used against me, but nothing. Oh, man, some buckskin leather. Oh, good armor. All right. Okay. So that's going to be the main sets of cards there. And then let's see. What are the little cards? Okay. So we got set one. And these are going to be. Oh, okay. So let me go. So these are going to be your adventure cards. Okay. So you notice. I can never remember the faction names. I'm really, really bad about that. Sorry, but you can actually see that symbol. So if you're going up against, if one of the keys is this faction, then what you're going to do is you're going to put that deck um, by that key. So that's all these are. These are all of the different factions. Now, the cool thing about these is there's, I want to say 12 cards per faction. Um, I don't really want to spoil, but I'll just give you an idea because for me, the cool thing about these is, le is learning these for the first time. Okay, you turn them over, you find out what they're going to be. So I'm just going to give you, I'm just going to give you a couple of them, so you can see what they're going to look like. You know, we'll flip that one over. Oh, there's a, that's a little tougher. Okay, um, but yeah, these are these are just really really nice. And this card quality. Oh, this is where I think they're the black core cards. So really really good. Okay, so that is set one okay that is going to be set one i'm going to put that off to the side I need to try to keep all this organized too because i need to get it back in the box okay now so what set two is going to do set two is going to give you 55 more heroes it's going to give 12 more map platters and it's going to give you 104 more treasure cards it's just a ridiculous amount of more content um to me this is kind of like if you if you're a dual of ages two player this would be like the, uh, I, I, I consider this to be like the master set, where all it does, it doesn't really introduce too much more, but just gives you a whole bunch more. Okay. So let's open this one up. I'm going to set that there so I can put everything in it. Uh, so set two, so we know what these cards are going to be from. Little ones, and we'll look at those in a minute. It looks like we're going to have more equipment cards. We'll go through those. Definitely. Definitely two more stacks of characters. We'll go through those. You're going to get some more Ziploc bags if you use them. Like I said, I really hope to have a foam core insert built. Um, hopefully within a, about a week. Um, now that I've got my sets open up, I can start putting everything on the table and I can start building my insert. And then once I get my insert built, then I'll be posting plans for mine. And we'll compare mine. I know Brett's going to do some stuff as well. All right, so here we go. It's just... More of the same, but more of this beautiful, beautiful artwork. Okay. Holy crud. All right. So, so far, it's just some keys. We've got the hunting lodge, um, some more tokens, um, coins. But I'll tell you what, man, I need to talk to Brett about some metal coins. All right. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at the colors. 
that swamp stronghold those are absolutely amazing so and even that muted side look how amazing this looks okay you can easily see what's what oh, and i like how you know if, if it's a special area if that's kind of highlighted your muted side is just your your plain areas you know i spent a lot of time on the discord channel looking at this game and talking to other people boy i'll tell you a lot of people had a lot of different ideas on things and brett really listened to everybody just really good looking stuff really good looking stuff man all right i hope i don't seem really too excited about this you know because well i'm super excited about this this game is just just phenomenal i mean just so easy to tell where you're going to go in here's your gates here's your walls you can't oh man wow Whew. i'm like a kid in a candy store right now that is oh man that encroach i haven't seen that tile that that is a cool looking tile that is nasty wow i i really want to play with this tile look at that thing that is holy crap and even I mean, every every time i turn one of these tiles just so you guys know these tokens are trying to fall out i mean these things were cut so good so perfect oh man look at that Whew. Whew. oh man I, sh I just want to play that one right now all right let's put these ones back in here Okay, this is the set I gotta definitely try to keep separate. Okay, so let's go. Let's, let's see what kind of new characters we have here. And I, I have never, I have never seen decks of cards come out of plastic as easy as this. Xavier, uh, Doctor Whom, the Blade of Terror. Man, I'll tell you, I hate this guy. I really hate this guy. I, I, I that's all I gotta say. I hate that guy. Brett can tell you I hate this guy. He knows. Oh, right, right now I love him. He's uh, he's one of my favorite characters. Oh, see, this set too right here is worth it. Just because of this guy right there and that guy right there, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Sergeant Grid, oh, he's always fun. I love playing Sarge. Reavers, Pax, oh, man. Okay, it looks like some more. Uh, I, I, said, I, I can't remember these purple cards are campaign. I can't remember really what those ones are for. Um, that was outside of what I was looking at. Now, one of the cool things, and I know I haven't talked about this yet either, and um, one of the cool things about these characters is every one of these, so like it looks like a Boris, every character, if you flip them over, you're going to have a little bit of story on them. Okay. So every every single character, he wrote a nice little story about him. It, it's really, really cool. You're going to get the artist's name on the back. And I'll tell you what, man, all the artwork in this thing is real. It's just, all this artwork is just phenomenal. I know Brett had several artists that did all the, all the cards for this. Jade, super very popular. Sir Gwen, yeah. Oh, man, 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 man. Good stuff. Oh, Frost Dancer. Yes. I mean, just, if you, if you like, if you like good artwork. So, and the cool thing about, about factions that I really like about it, and Coach Quinn, oh, man. I have so many stories about Coach Quinn. The, the, the cool thing is about uh, factions compared to um, the Ages game is the the artwork is more consistent now, and which is one of my favorite things that he did is uh, Brett wanted a certain look. He wanted a certain feel. And that's one of the things he had all the artists do is kind of strive for that same look, look and feel. And I think they did a great job because it all looks really, really good. Okay, so... There is your Skyhawks challenge deck. You're essentially, looks like about doubling the number of cards that are in that challenge deck. And the cool thing about that is you want to go through that challenge deck, believe it or not, as often as you can, because the faster you go through it, the faster you're going to get back to the really, really cool cards. Um, but then again, the faster you're going to get to the really dog cards too. And well, you know, dice don't like me, but cards don't like me either. So I can pull a card for a number and it's still going to be the opposite of what i need but again we've already seen a bunch of those okay so that's more challenge deck cards which that is suit oh you can never have enough challenge cards um that i will definitely say oh looks like i left one of those out all right let's open this pack because those other cards are going to go along with this 
Okay. Oh. Let's see, let's put the green. All right, so. All right, so. Let's go back to this deck. We got a AR-15, a Timberwolf. Oh man, Ballista, the Burrow Dagger, Ghost Light Lantern. Winchester. Kittens in a box. Who doesn't like kittens in a box, right? Um, if you're a kitten person, see, I'd rather have puppies in a box, personally. Uh, the sungla stun glasses, stung, the doppelganger, oh, heavy crossbow, Cleo, oh, gotta have your camel. Oh, the GTL mud puppy. Driven a few of those. Okay, the shockwave, yep, 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 yep. List pet. Okay. Let's put this one in here. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep these separated because I need to combine both of these for my insert. Uh, audacious gloves. While owning, you're going to gain plus two to your hand. Really, really nice. Um, got some gadgets. Oh, man, the battle skid. Nice. You know, and the cool thing is, is Brett has so many items in this game. I have played this game so many stinking times, and there are still some of these items I've never, ever seen before. Um, or I've seen them just in, just glancing by. So one of my favorite things to do is, I, when I get this game, I always, I shuffle all the decks, and then I put them down, and then I never shuffle on them again. All the cards I use from the game go on the bottom, and all I do is just keep drawing off the top. Um, and you can put them all face up so you know if you ever get back to the through the deck, then you shuffle it and do it again. Uh, and you know what? And you got to play the game so many times to even make it through one of these decks. And that's the beauty is every time you play, not only you're playing different characters, but... Oops, I'm actually off screen again. Sorry. Um, not only you're playing different characters, but you're also... All the equipment you get is totally different every time. Molotov cocktail, a friend of mine, keep it away from him. He'll use that on me in a second. It's his favorite thing to do to me is kill me with a Molotov every time we play a game. It's like, oh, great. How was your game last night? Oh, it was great, except for I died again from a Molotov cocktail. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Yeah, I'm going to call you out. You know who you are. You're going to laugh about it, too. All right, set two. So it looks like we're going to have... Okay, so more cards that we're going to be able to add to the different keys. Like I said, these are really... I, I really like just discovering these as I go. And this is another deck I said I, I never shuffle. I mean, this is one of those games I don't even sleeve because I don't need to. If I sleeve anything, it's these cards right here. The challenge deck. The challenge deck, you're always shuffling, you're always flipping through. These are the rest of these cards. You're never never shuffle them, never nothing. You, it's, it's a game you never have to sleeve. That's the beauty thing I like about this game. Okay, and that's going to be set two. All right, now, this is the box I am super most excited about. Set three foes. This is going to be our solo campaign. And you know, I'm gonna go watch this video when it's at, over with, and I'm gonna notice that probably half of this video isn't even on camera. I'm sorry, people. Um, you're getting a world-class professionalism right here at its best. But you know what, I'm a player. I'm not really a content guy like this. I, I just wanna play. Oh, look at that artwork. That is just phenomenal. You know what? Really, really fast, I don't, look at the back. Okay, so yeah, so you got your act one. This is gonna be a uh, dropkick. All right, so Dropkick must be um, the campaign is what my, my original guess is. So two ways to play. One day co-op, skirmish mode versus AI, or um, one day player campaign. This is the box I'm more excited about than anything else. Super pumped about this guy. Let's see what's in this box. This is the one box that I'm probably going to keep everything separate because of the campaign. All right, now... I honestly do not know how much spoiler stuff is in this. So I don't really want to go through much of this. Um, we got our, back's gonna give you some more rules. Um, I know I was really, really big on, on asking for all the backs of the books to have rules. Um, but it looks like you're just gonna have, yeah, things you're gonna go read. Uh, see, I'm just gonna, uh, missions you're gonna have and for setting up. So this, okay, you get that. That's, when, that, that's all I'm going to stop at right there. You're going to have play in your foes, and you're going to have your foes actions. And attack goal examples, you're going to have your, some more foes actions here. And special goal examples, looks like adventure goal examples. Um, 
We're going to talk about your campaign play, your first skirmishes on how to go through that. I know it does change it up a little bit. Campaign pain play, some background. And campaign one dropkick with you, actually. That's it. Sorry, guys. I'm done. Now, I, I, I want you to experience this. I, I am a story guy uh, playing games, experiencing stuff for the very first time. I, 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 I That's the way I am. And this looks like it's just going to be... Um, so yeah, so if, if you want to play the campaign, you got your characters, and it looks like he is going to give you a couple different sheets. So if you want to replay it, you can replay that. I'm pretty sure if you, you can copy this, if you need more. Very, very nice. And this is even, oh, if you if you could fill this paper, this isn't cheap paper. Even these rule books, this is, I mean, this is really high quality. I mean, this is thick paper. This is just really good stuff. All right. Yellows and blues, more of these tokens. Like I said, I love these tokens. These are really, really nice. Or, or the not tokens, the stand, standy holders. So a little bit more in your Ziploc bags. All right, so we have set three. These are going to be the cards for set three. Um, we'll kind of see what those are real fast. Okay, so I don't know if all if if we can add some of these into the regular core sets or what they are. I have to kind of look through that. But let's take a look at some of these counters real fast. Just give you an idea of what we're looking at here. All right, so you got your tower. I mean, everything looks really, really good there. Oh, man, this is, this is really, really neat, really high quality stuff. And like I said, these, look at that. See how these are just falling out. And these are clean. The, the production quality, so high. Uh, see what we got, game three. Oh, man. I got these, man, I got these out of frame. I got these all over the place, don't I? Okay. Let me put this back in real fast. Like I said, I got to try to keep this separate. Okay, your little Ziploc bags. Okay, let's take a look at some of these last characters. Thought about getting with Brett to find out what what I was going to be getting at, getting into this, but I just kind of wanted to play it by ear. So I'm seeing three new three new characters you can play, and based on what I'm seeing, I believe you can just play those regular. But this is going to be uh, your main campaign stuff. It's like we've got some player aids, and I'm going to say these are going to be some bad guys you're going to be going up against, blue and white. I'm guessing that's what the standees are going to be for, so you know what's what. Um, so yeah, so. <clears throat> looks like you're playing the campaign solo. You're not going to be necessarily using these, but you're going to be using some of these guys. And you may be using some of these. Huh. That's uh, something I've, I haven't have paid a lot of attention to. I've looked at here and there. I've wanted to experience it on my own, so that's why I can't really give you much information. Um, all I know is I'm just super excited about it. Okay, so we got set three. Yeah, so this is going to be, it looks like, all of the different monsters that you're going to have. And if I remember right, depending on what you're going up against, you're going to have different cards. Um, for the and, and you kind of put them in a row. I, I have seen a couple things on it, and some of the early stuff. Hero treats all pass amazes his passes. It's like little pets, and each one of those looks like they have different stuff um, on them. Yeah, a couple more. It looks like you might get a couple more cards. He's kind of threw in. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's put those there. And what do we got here? Uh, Worldspanner.com. Okay, if you have questions, hey, there you go, man. Tools available. Scan that, and you're good to go. Stop. Do not shuffle or look through the inside deck. Okay, there you go. See, that's it. That's all I'm going to give you. Brett told me, no. That card told me not to look in there. I don't want Brett to come after me and, you know, take away my play-in rights or anything like that. All right, so there you go. That is, that's set number three. Okay, so we got set three. We have set number two. And then I've got set number one box, which is upside down and scattered all over the place. But what I'm gonna do is let's take a look at real fast, what are we gonna get in these promo packs? And then I can go start putting this whole thing together. Okay, so the promo packs looks like we're going to get four new characters. Okay. All right, let's open this. 
Okay, they package these ones definitely a little bit different. All right. Make sure I don't cut the cards. That would be super bad. All right, so we got Edamira. Let me see. Baba Yaga. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I like those. Those are really good. And it looks like we're going to get a couple more equipment cards. Okay. The Ice Forge Falchion. Shocking Eye. Uh, the Pegasus. Hmm. And the Alpha Pulse Pistol. Glittering Sunstone. Potion Security. Oh, these are nice. Man, you know what? I think I had might have. I'm just gonna might have had those actually out of focus for you. Those are those are really nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That is World Spanner Factions. That is sets one, two, three. If you bought all of it and went all in, you saw everything you're just gonna get in that one box. I really hope you're as excited to play this game as I am. I mean, I want to play this game. I need to get my answer made, and then I'm gonna start on it. I'm super excited. Um, I appreciate it. If you're still around, thank you for sticking with me this long. Thank you for taking a look at this with me. And I hope to see you online sometime and really, 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 truly enjoy your gameplay of World Spanner Factions. Thanks for listening. Somebody help me. On my feet again. I didn't even know my dad. Well, dad, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Poor guy. <sighs>